Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone, we have our new topic in Science 8, which is all about the states of matter. This will be the third quarter topic and week 1 to 2. This topic is a milk paste. The world we live in is made up of matter, various materials that surround us, the food we eat, the water we drink, the air we breathe, the earth beneath our feet, and even the bright stars at night are forms of matter. It may exist either living or non-living which can be detected through our sense of smell, fragrant or malodorous, touch, rough or smooth, taste, sour, bitter, sweet, sight, appearance like shape, color, and volume, and hearing, loud, soft, no sound with echo. Indeed, matter is anything that has mass and its occupy space. By looking at the picture, how about the situations depicted in the picture below? Can we identify matter in it? Every day, we encounter different situations that either don't have mass or don't take up space. In figure 1 entitled, What's the Matter? We can observe an adolescent girl thinking of a very unforgettable memory she has in her mind. She remembers having a very special date with her brother in a place filled with beautiful sceneries. The captivating beauty of the colors of the rainbow made the situation very vibrant. The reflections of the light add brightness to the significant moment. She didn't notice that she had confessed already to her brother about the story of having her first crush in school. Her brother explained not to be serious with it, to concentrate with her studies in high school. Beside, he loves her sister and he wanted her to finish first in schooling before entertaining an infatuation or crash. What a wonderful brother she had! Any of the situations above recalling memory of the past, presence of a vibrant rainbow above the sky, existence of reflections of light which provide brightness of the environment, expression of love of an older brother to his younger sister, though giving advice, doesn't meet the definition of matter. That's why they are called non matter Basically, any abstract concept or type of energy is an example of something that does not matter. Here are some additional examples of non-matter. The time, sound, thoughts, dreams, music, magnetism, gravity, microwaves, information, and heat. There are three major states of matter, the solid, liquid, and the gas. However, several new studies have come out showing the plasma as the fourth state of matter and the Bose-Einstein condensate as the fifth. The molecules that make up a solid are arranged in regular repeating patterns. They are held firmly in place but can vibrate within a limited area. Liquids have weaker attractive forces which allow particles to slide past each other. Gases have particles with the highest energy among the three states of matter. It enables the particles to spread out and move rapidly. Plasma is the fourth state of matter. It has neither a definite volume nor definite shape. It may be formed by heating and ionizing gas. It occurs in lightning, discharge, and in artificial devices like neon signs and fluorescent bulbs. Plasma is electrically conductive due to its free electrical charges which made it distinct and unique from other states of matter. Bose-Einstein condensate is the fifth state of matter which was 
predicted by Albert Einstein and Satyendra Nath Bose. They are fragile and appear when bosons are refrigerated at a very low temperature. These cold bosons merge to form a super particle which is more like a wave than an ordinary form of matter. Now let's talk about the properties of matter. Matter is identified based on its property. These are the distinguishing characteristics which would help us recognize their face. It could either be physical or chemical properties. In this lesson, we will concentrate on the following properties like mass, shape, volume, compressibility, expansibility, and density as mentioned in our concept map. The first property of matter is the mass. Mass of an object is a measure of the amount of matter of the object. The basic unit of mass is kilogram, but smaller masses may be measured in grams. Solids have definite mass. Liquid and gases can be contained in a specific container. Therefore, both of them have measurable mass. Another property of matter is the shape. Shape defines the physical form of matter. Solids have definite shapes, which could either be regular like circles, squares, rectangles, and others. Some solids are arranged in a regularly geometric pattern and in a three-dimensional structure like crystals. Other solids do not contain crystals like glass, rubber, and plastics. Another property of matter is the volume. Volume is the amount of space occupied by matter. Solids and liquids have definite volume, while gases do not have. In solids, it is a three-dimensional measure of space that comprises a length, width, and height. It is measured in units of cubic centimeters in metric. The volume for liquids include liters and milliliters. The volume for gases depends upon the volume of their container. That's why gases expand to fill whatever space is available for them. Another property of matter is the compressibility. Compressibility is the measure of how much a given volume of matter decreases when placed under pressure. If we put pressure on a solid or liquid, there is essentially no change in volume. Solids are tightly packed, while liquid particles are closer with each other. In gases, lots of free space between particles is present, thus they are most compressible. Another property of matter is the expansibility. The change in temperature of the body causes expansion or contraction of that body. Most of the substances expand on heating and contract on cooling. This is called thermal expansion. This is observable in phase changes. When a substance changes from a solid to liquid to gas, there is a decrease in intermolecular forces. Just like solid ice to liquid water where at first molecules are held in place, but as it turns into liquid, the intermolecular band is reduced so that molecules can slide past each other. Gas particles are in random movement, which allows them to expand easily and fill the space of their container. Another property of matter is the density. Density is the physical property of matter that expresses the amount of mass per unit volume. There is only a small difference between a density of the liquid and its corresponding solid like water and ice. This is because solids are tightly packed while liquid particles are somewhat closer with each other. The same number of gas particles spread farther apart than in a liquid or solid state. The same mass takes up a bigger volume which means that the gas is at least dense of them all.